Typhoid vaccines, TCV and bipolysaccharide vaccine. Generic name, drug class, brand name, generic name, typhoid conjugate vaccine, TCV, typhoid bicapsular polysaccharide vaccine, VICPS. Drug class, bacterial vaccines, immunologic agents, active immunization, brand names, TCV, type bar TCV, Petitif, Typhavax TCV, Vipolysaccharide Vaccine, VSCPS, Typhim V, Tepbar Vi, Typharix. Number two definition. The typhoid vaccine is a biological product designed to protect against typhoid fever, a systemic infection caused by Salmonella enterica cerevar typhi. TCV, VI polysaccharide antigen conjugated to a carrier protein, e.g. tetanus toxoid CRM197. It generates stronger, long-lasting T-cell dependent immunity. VI polysaccharide vaccine, a purified V capsular polysaccharide antigen that stimulates antibody production but with shorter lasting immunity and less effective in young children. Number three, mechanism of action, VI polysaccharide vaccine, VICPS, induces T cell independent immunity by stimulating B cells to produce IgG antibodies against the VI capsular polysaccharide antigen. Limited memory response, short lived protection, especially poor in children under two years. Typhoid conjugate vaccine, TCV, VI polysaccharide antigen is chemically linked to a carrier protein, induces T-cell dependent immunity. Stronger antibody response, long-term memory, effective even in infants, six months, provides protection for five to seven years or more. Overall, both stimulate production of antibodies against Salmonella typhi, preventing bacterial invasion and clinical disease. Number four uses. To prevent typhoid fever in routine childhood immunization, especially in endemic countries. Travelers to typhoid endemic areas, South Asia, Africa, Latin America. Outbreak control campaigns. High-risk occupational groups. Lab staff handling salmonella typhi. Number five, indications. TCV, infants six months, children and adults. Recommended in national immunization programs. VI polysaccharide vaccine, adults and children do guide two years for travelers and populations in endemic regions. Number six, contraindications, severe allergic reaction, anaphylaxis after a previous dose or to vaccine components. Moderate or severe acute febrile illness, postpone vaccination until recovery. Not recommended for infants six months, TCV not studied. Children two years, VICPS, ineffective. Number seven, before taking this medicine, precautions. Inform healthcare provider if past severe allergic reaction to vaccines, currently sick with fever, weakened immune system, HIV, AIDS, chemotherapy, high-dose steroids, pregnant or breastfeeding, safe if risk-benefit favors use, not 100% protective, food safety, clean drinking water, and hygiene remain essential. Number eight, how to use, administered only by a healthcare professional as an injection. Route of administration, TCV, intramuscular IM, usually in thigh infants, or deltoid, older children, adults. VI polysaccharide, IM, or subcutaneous SC, do not self-administer. Habib 9, dosing information. Typhoid conjugate vaccine, TCV, dose 0.5 million IM, age, T6 months. Schedule, single dose, booster recommendations vary, often after three to five years, depending on guidelines. VI polysaccharide vaccine, VICPS, Dose 0.5 milliliter IM or SC, age 2 years. Schedule, single dose, booster every 2-3 years if risk persists. Number 10. Missed dose, overdose. Missed dose. If scheduled vaccination is missed, administer as soon as possible. No need to restart series. Overdose, rare, mainly leads to increased local or systemic side effects. Treatment, supportive care, antipyretics, antihistamines if allergic symptoms. Number 11. Stop or avoid taking. Stop or avoid if severe allergic reaction occurred after previous dose. Patient is acutely ill with fever. Delay vaccination. VI polysaccharide vaccine should be avoided in children two years. Ineffective. 12. Side effects. Common. Local. Pain. Redness. Swelling at injection site. Systemic. Mild fever. Headache. Malaise. Muscle aches. Less common. Nausea. Abdominal discomfort. Fatigue. Joint pain. Rare but serious. Severe allergic reaction. Anaphylaxis. Very high fever, seizures extremely rare. Third, 13, vital information. TCV is preferred in children 15 years due to longer lasting protection. VI polysaccharide is mainly used for travelers and short-term protection. Neither vaccine guarantees 100% protection. Safe food and water practices remain critical. WHO recommends TCV introduction into routine childhood immunization programs in endemic regions. Number 14, other drugs that will affect. 
Immunosuppressive medications, e.g. corticosteroids, biologics, chemotherapy, may reduce immune response. Other vaccines can be co-administered with routine vaccines, e.g. MMR, DTP, hepatitis A, but at separate injection sites. Antibiotics, no direct interaction, but illness requiring antibiotics may delay vaccination. Live vaccines, like MMR, yellow fever, can be given at same time or at least four weeks apart, if not simultaneous. Quick comparison table for exam revision, feature TCV, VI polysaccharide, VICPS. Age group, post six months, post two years. Type, conjugate VI antigen plus carrier protein, purified VI capsular polysaccharide, immunity. T cell dependent, long lasting five to seven years. T cell independent, short to three years. Dosing, single 0.5 milliliter IM, single 0.5 milliliter IM SC. Booster, sometimes after three to five years, every two to three years. Efficacy higher works in infants and children, lower in two years, moderate protection, WHO recommendation for routine immunization in endemic countries, mainly for travelers, supplementary use. In summary, the typhoid vaccines, TCV and VI polysaccharide, are essential preventive measures against typhoid fever. TCV is superior, especially for children, as it induces stronger and longer immunity. Both are safe with mild side effects, but not 100% effective, so hygiene measures are still necessary. Thank you. Have a nice day.